Let's talk about what happens to your immune system when you age. As you age, your risk factor goes up dramatically for viral and bacterial infections. And the reason why is that the microbiome changes. That is a term to describe collectively all the microbes living in your body. They're there to make up a great majority of your immune system. And they do a lot of other things too, like make vitamins, but I wanna focus on the immune factor. As you age, the microbes age as well. You get less diversity, you have more pathogenic bacteria. So we get this ratio of more pathogens and less friendly bacteria, and that makes you more susceptible to getting infections. Also, if you don't have the diversity of microbes, you're not gonna make the quantity of butyrate. And butyrate is involved in helping someone with insulin resistance and their blood sugars. Also, it has a connection into supporting a healthy immune system. On the flip side, a baby who's getting breast milk is getting a tremendous amount of good bacteria in that breast milk, not to mention immune factors, uh, antimicrobials, colostrum, which is building his or her immune system. It's very, very important as you age to maintain your gut flora and even take a very high quality probiotic. Now, the second thing to know is that babies and children have a huge thymus gland. The thymus gland is not the thyroid. The thyroid is in the front part of the neck. The thymus is a little bit lower, right underneath your sternum, right on top of the heart. The thymus is the key lymph gland having to do with the training camp for your white blood cells. They're also a reservoir for a lot of your immune cells. If a major infection happens, your body will recruit a lot of those T cells, T standing for thymus, to be able to pull those into the battle uh, to fight off the microbe. Now, the problem is when you get older, your thymus shrinks down to nothing. So you really lose that ability to make not just the T cells, but the B cells too. And B cells make the antibodies. So the less antibodies you have for different things, the less defense you're gonna have against certain microbes. It's really important to take enough zinc to support the thyroid because if you're zinc deficient, which a lot of people are, you will also have atrophy of the thymus gland. I think it would be very beneficial as you age to not only make sure you're taking enough zinc, and also to take a thymus extract, and you can get that as a supplement. I don't have any brand names. You're gonna to have to do your own research, but I think that would be a really good thing to support if someone is getting older and more fragile and they wanted to boost the immune system. Also, as a person ages, they're usually taking more medications. The one that really destroys the microbiome is the antibiotic, and you probably already know that, but also the PPIs, the antacids, and the medications that deal with um, acid reflux, GERD, indigestion, heartburn, things like that. Metformin interferes with your gut bacteria. That's used for diabetes, type two. Also SSRIs, that's a medication for anxiety or depression, it has a big negative impact on your microbiome. Laxatives and corticosteroids like prednisone really affects the microbiome. So the less of this you have, the less immune system that you have. And lastly, as you age, you have a much more difficult time absorbing vitamin D. So vitamin D is one of the most important, what's called immune modulators, which controls an overactive immune system. And I'm talking about inflammatory responses. I'm talking about hypersensitivities, asthma, allergies, and especially autoimmune problems, as well as the condition called the cytokine storm, which is a flurry of immune reactions that can occur in your lung, and that can actually kill you. So vitamin D is a really good calming action on a hyperreactive immune system. And one of the problems when you get an infection from a virus, for example, is that that virus has this sneaky little strategy of blocking the receptors inside the cell for vitamin D and knocking out your ability to use it, you're gonna to have to take a lot more vitamin D to counter that effect because the receptors for vitamin D called the vitamin D receptor is downgraded with certain viruses and certain bacterial infections as well. So there's really two main things you wanna support as you get older, the microbiome, your friendly bacteria, 
and the thymus gland. Thanks for watching. And if you want to know how to boost the immune system, check out this video right here.